Before the pandemic hit, if you talked about Greece economically, you'd usually say this was the problem child. This was the country that for 10 years has gone through the absolute worst, right? A serious depression that was even greater than the U.S. had a century ago. And yet today, Greece is seen as one of the most effective countries in the world in responding to this pandemic. How, how do you manage that, given just how much trouble you've been through? Well, maybe one of the reasons, um, Ian, we were forced to take decisions very early had to do with the fact that I was totally aware that we had some uh, shortcomings in our healthcare system uh, as a result of, you know, 10 years of underinvestment. I was very much uh, uh, aware that we could not afford uh, to lose, uh, you know, a day in containing this epidemic. So back in March, we took the decisions very, very early. Um, probably a, week, a couple of weeks earlier than most European um, um, the countries, and that did make a difference. We trusted the experts. We focused a lot on communication. So I think we, we convinced people that this was for their own uh, good, and we had uh, a, a wave of public support for the measures that we were actually uh, taking. Of course, uh, as you know, it is, uh, from an operational point of view, relatively easy to shut down the economy. At the time, people were not aware of the economic pain that this would actually entail. But we did succeed in, in crushing um, the epidemic during its, uh, during its early uh, stages. And we made it into summer. We started opening up tourism. We did it in a very organized manner, I'd say a rather sophisticated manner. Our cases so far uh, are around 300 uh, per day. You know, if they stay there, I feel very, very comfortable that we will have no pressure whatsoever uh, on our healthcare uh, system. Economic life in Greece, um, uh, has resumed uh, uh, to almost what I would call uh, normal. Of course, we, we have some curfews, you know, bars, restaurants. We, you haven't seen much of the anti sort of masking demonstrations that you saw in many other countries, many European countries. 85% of Greeks think that wearing a mask is the right thing to protect yourself, but also the people um, uh, you, you love. So I think we've also managed um, uh, to, to muster the sort of collective um, uh, support that we uh, need um, to get through the, the second wave as well. Of course, we're all concerned about what will happen once we start moving uh, indoors, uh, but that's a question that we will probably need to address in, in November or December. As you know, this is we're, 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 this is a long fight, um, and, uh, and, and Greece is warmer than many countries in Europe, but uh, it's going to get colder. People are going to want to uh, go inside. What do you have in place to start thinking about more restrictions as you might need them. How, how are you gonna make that decision? Um, how quickly do you think you might need to move? Look, we, I think we're very good at managing our data and we have very good indicators in terms of, you know, looking at the trend of the, uh, of the epidemic. Uh, I think the, the real challenge is um, make sure people work from home as much as we can, um, a private sector, but also public sector, this is all quite new. Keep schools open for as long as you can. We actually made masks mandatory even in kindergarten. So we started with mandatory masks at the age of four. There was a lot of reaction, but I can tell you kids are pretty obedient. And even if they don't fully succeed, we have enough kids wearing masks. Uh, we have, we've had very few problems at our schools so far, so we want to keep schools open for as long uh, as, uh, as we can. And of course, there is a big economic support package. We'll be spending in total by the end of the year 24 billion euros to support our economy. Um, and I think we've done everything that was um, uh, appropriate uh, from short-term uh, employment support to one-off payments to people who were on furlough to uh, immediate liquidity supply for companies through essentially a zero interest loan provided by the government based on their revenue shortfall because we wanted to bypass the banking sector. Uh, and maybe that's one of the reasons why, if you look at our, our performance in the first six months of 2020, where the recession is actually lower than the EU, than the Eurozone average. Many people thought Greece would be destroyed because of our dependence on tourism. Uh, it didn't happen, and I hope it's not going to happen.